Hello and welcome to English Language and Literature, our quick intro. In preparing for this A-level, we're going to look at dystopian worlds in fiction. Now, do we know what dystopia means? Your first task is to find a good definition. Here's a little taster. We'll begin by exploring how writers create a dystopian world. Let's look at 1984 by George Orwell. It's set in a dystopian world and even the opening words are famous. Here's an excerpt including that memorable opening. It was a bright, cold day in April and the clocks were striking 13. Winston Smith, his chin nuzzled into his breast in an effort to escape the vile wind, slipped quickly through the glass doors of Victory Mansions, though not quickly enough to prevent a swirl of gritty dust from entering along with him. The hallway smelt of boiled cabbage and old rag mats. At one end of it, a coloured poster, descriptive detail too large for indoor display, had been tacked to the wall. It depicted simply an enormous face, more than a metre wide, the face of a man of about forty-five, with a heavy black moustache and ruggedly handsome features. Winston made for the stairs. It was no use trying the lift. Even at the best of times it was seldom working, and at present the electric current was cut off during daylight hours. It was part of the economy drive in preparation for hate week. The flat was seven flights up, and Winston, who was thirty-nine and had a varicose ulcer above his right ankle, went slowly, resting several times on the way. On each landing, opposite the lift shaft, the poster with the enormous face gazed from the wall. It was one of those pictures which are so contrived that the eyes follow you about when you move. Big brother is watching you. The caption beneath it ran. With this course, one of the most important aspects is to be able to analyse the language of a text at the granular level. That means at the closest micro level. Every little detail. What do we notice in this passage about the dystopian world that's been created by Orwell? I'd like you to Comment on the language and the impression created by the descriptive details. Go into it at that micro level. Look at the words, look at the language, look at any patterns that you notice in terms of the language. And how is that atmosphere created of a dystopian world? You're going to be writing me a paragraph about it, I hope, and sending it to me in an email. The detail will be at the bottom. And now, the other aspect of the A-level uh, literature and language course is the creative writing task. I want you to write a short creative paragraph from Winston's point of view, or that of a member of the Thought Police secretly observing Winston. The Thought Police are the secret police who place everyone under surveillance to check that no one is breaking the rules of this society. Could that be connected? the definition of dystopia? When you do your little bit of research, you'll know. So, two assignments there. I'd like you to choose one or do both. I'm just asking for a paragraph and uh, I'd like you to email those uh, comments, thoughts and um, what you notice to me at the email address here. vcrowther at chapeltownacademy.com one of the things I'd like you to also think about is your summer reading. I'd like you to do some, please. And you will need for September a copy of The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood because we are beginning with that distinctive dystopian novel, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. So, email me your responses, bcrowther at chapeltownacademy.com to one or both of those tasks and also include a few lines about you, your reading preferences, whether you like a particular author or a genre and what you're reading at the moment. I'm looking forward to seeing you in September. See you very soon and bye for now.